In developing countries, one child in every 500 births is born with congenital deformities. One such condition is infants who are born with anorectal malformations. Post-surgery, the doctor may recommend anal dilation. Anal dilation is a simple and safe procedure that can be done at home. The procedure involves passing a dilator into your child's anal opening. Anal dilation helps in the slow stretching of the anal muscles and thereby easing the stools to pass through. The available dilators in the market are not designed for an infant's unique needs and lack a clinical standard for effective parent-surgeon communication. Introducing KidSoft Luminal Dilator from Bluney. This product is designed and developed in association with leading pediatric surgeons. The KidSoft Luminal Dilators are soft, flexible, and made of biocompatible, medical-grade polyurethane. These dilators are safe and reusable. Blue Neem's KidSoft Luminal Dilators introduces a new clinical standard for post-pediatric reconstructive surgeries in preventing stenosis or strictures. Dilators are available in four different sizes. Your doctor will assess an appropriate size for your child, making it easy for you as a parent to understand and follow instructions. Anal dilation is a simple and easy procedure. Ensure you stay calm and support the child emotionally. The procedure can be done alone, or you may take the help of another person. Ensure your child is lying in a comfortable position without napping. Apply the lubricating jelly provided by your doctor, or you can also use other home-based lubricants such as coconut oil, paraffin oil, or olive oil on the dilator. Position the child in the position as changing their diaper. That is, gently bend their legs at the ankles over the stomach, giving you a clear view of the anus. Hold the lubricated dilator between your fingers and thumb, like holding a pen, at the grip designed for that, and gently push the dilator to insert into your child's anus for approximately two inches. Hold the dilator in place for about one minute, and then gently pull back the dilator. Clean your child's bottom. Wash the dilator in warm, soapy water and store it in a clean box. The dilator does not need sterilization. Follow your doctor's advice on the dilation schedule, size, how often to use, and when to stop dilation. Dilator size may change as the child grows. While using dilators, you may notice a few symptoms which are common and may include Child may cry out of anxiety. Child may poop during or immediately after dilation. You may notice a small amount of blood with dilation, which is normal. See a doctor immediately if you notice fever, nausea, vomiting, bleeding persistently, child does not poop for more than 24 hours, any other unusual discomforts in the baby's behavior. Kid Soft Luminal Dilators for progressive dilation of lumen, neoanus, neovagina stoma. Our kids deserve the best.